Hey folks, Tom here at Our Pastime. Thanks for joining me today. I am going to show you how to convert your grader blade on a Farmall Cub to a snowplow. Um, it's pretty simple. I have the grader blade already installed on my Cub, as you may have seen on some of my previous videos. Um, the Cub is sitting here underneath the tarp. It hasn't been started since the end of September, so that's going to be a challenge too. Not sure if it will start. Um, been kind of busy this fall doing other things. And um, so let's get into this and see what happens. That is the missing piece for the, the conversion from the greater blade to the snow plow. Let's get that tarp off and see what's happening underneath. It's going to start raining, feels like. Oh. That would figure. A little sprinkle while I'm... You know, it hasn't rained all day and now it wants to... Add some atmosphere to the video. Greater blade still has the dirt on it from my project I was doing earlier. See, it's got the dog bone on it. That's right here. And it's a pretty simple attachment. So, what we got to do is bring the blade to the front of the tractor out here and install this section right here on the side and let's get busy and do that shouldn't take too long so first what I'm going to do is uh, remove those remove the uh, bolts from the back of the uh, draw bar that's inverted or I put it's facing forward instead of facing backwards um, we'll take those bolts off there those two and then we'll the only other part of point of attachment for the blade is this right here, that, and then the blade will be free from the tractor. So let's detach. Tools I'm using today are one inch wrenches. That's the size of the bolts. Just like that. Now we'll just uh, take this out. up on that blade just a bit to release the tension of that. There we go. There, blade is free. Before the video, this I started the video, I uh, jumped on the scales and weighed that piece right there. Just that part of the plow weighs 50 pounds. So this is not a light piece of equipment. That's probably the smallest part of the whole setup. And that, just that part alone weighs 50 pounds. Oh, that's heavy. That's very heavy. Well, 
Just be careful. Go slow. Use my knees and not my back. Try to be careful. Don't need another back surgery. Just to get this out of the way a little bit and move the tractor, I think. Yeah, let's just move the tractor back. Come on, tractor, let's move backwards. Yes. Yeah, let's go. Here we go. Oh, much easier than Moving that plow, that's for sure. All right. Now we've got the tarp in the way, though. Well, let's do this. There we go. Just like that, the tarp's not in the way. I didn't jump on the scales with this, that's for sure. I know it's already heavy. All right. So, all right, whew, there, looks like a plow. Yeah, all right, so I'm gonna take these bolts out. These in. There we go. Put that plate in there. Open up. These spacers go in right there. And they go a certain way.
Remember, this piece here weighs 50 pounds. So it's not the easiest thing to maneuver by yourself. It's not impossible. Of course, the plow's a little off-centered. up on that a little bit. There we go. That's still a little crooked. Okay, I'm just hand tightening, tightening these all for now. Now I just need to attach the blade frame into the mounting frame. Okay, once again, this section goes right into here. And just bolts in. Anyway, washers go on. Then lock washers. Don't need the crud on there, I guess. And then we just tighten on the nuts. Alright, so that's on there finger tight for now. The last thing we need to do is the part I don't know if it's going to work or not. we got to figure out how this dog bone goes on. And it looks like my rock shaft is bent, so it's not going to go on right. So through a little trial and error, I finally got the dog bone in the right position. Um, it allows the plow to go up about six inches. The travel for the soft uh, for the touch control, the travel for the touch control is uh, limited when you use the plow. At least on my setup, I'm only using about half the travel distance of the touch control. It uh, 
is very jumpy for mine. I may have to add some more fluid in my reservoir. Maybe that's what's going on. I'm not sure. I will check my fluid levels at some point soon. Anyway, the setup seems to be working right. The dog bone is in the correct position now and everything is tightened and ready to go. Uh, we have not had much snow and not even enough snow to plow. So I have yet to make a video plowing snow. So until we get some snow, this is uh, where we will leave things for now. I do have another video, as you can see in the background, that I'm working on with some upgrades for the plow and a little upgrade for the uh, tractor as well. That's coming out shortly and I uh, hope you'll stick around and watch that as well when it comes out. So if you wouldn't mind, give me a thumbs up, like, subscribe, leave some comments, and I hope to see you again real soon. This is Tom at Our Pastime, thanking you for joining me once again, and I will see you soon. Bye-bye.